Howdy y'all, it's everybody's favorite Lovecraft, P.H. Lovecraft, and today's letter was addressed to yours personally, which always gives me a tingly good feeling in my down belows, but this comes from my absolute favorite librarian, Miss Jamie Jo, who is plagued by scofflaws and ne'er-do-wells who keep stealing discs out of cases but leaving them on the shelf, fooling workers and patrons alike, which is deplorable. If you're one of the people doing it, stop it. She wants to know whether or not I can call upon any of my diabolical allies to aid her in seeking justice for this outrageous action. Now, first up, Miss Jamie Jo, I am pleased that you think that I have these uh, exciting contacts, but, but really, I, I left that world behind me quite some time ago, and, and now the spiciest folk I hang out with are the sweet old biddies down at the Eastern Star Retirement Home. Because let me tell you something, Ain't nobody parties harder than Masonic grandmas. Seriously. Now, as for this quest for revenge, I gotta tell you, it never comes out right. Believe me, vengeance is a poison. And the harder you seek it, even if your reasons are justified, the more it destroys you on the inside. And even if you achieve your revenge, all that's left is a, is a bitter hollowness. So really, the, the only two options you realistically have are, are to take all these aggravations that you, as a person in the service industry, are going to receive and just ball them up deep down inside until you've got a reservoir of frustration that you just bleed out safely on every single person you come in contact to through little gusts of passive aggression. This is how society functions. Or you can take the other path and simply let it go. Now, there's a whole song and dance number that goes with this, but we are not licensed to do so. Which is a shame, because if we were, we would have such sights to show you. Up in P.H. Lovecraft. Y'all stay bad now. Mm -hmm.